things like that and place value these are the things which uh, it's a prerequisite knowledge anandi shivakumar speaking here rakaga hello atta gallery i carry the big idea being addition subtraction are connected addition names the whole in terms of parts and subtraction names the missing part this is a big idea you should always have this in mind point in teaching addition and subtraction separately both when as soon as you start addition simultaneously you should start uh, subtraction as well <coughs> when you begin addition you should start with direct modeling the first step being use real objects use of real objects gives the feel that numbers grow bigger when you are putting them together when you are doing addition for the first time symbols are not to be used uh, telling a story will help a lot make sure that whichever way you put them you have three chocolates in one hand two chocolates in another put them together now exchange hands put them together you start counting from left to right right to left whatever be you know always the count will be the same make sure that in direct modeling you do all this you are actually teaching them the commutative property but it doesn't matter you know uh, uh, children will intuitively understand so first let's start with addition and subtraction of single digit numbers so begin with a story don't say let's add 1 and 4 you make them want to do addition subtraction so begin with a story <coughs> you can probably say hey yesterday i asked all of you to bring some color pencil akshay how many did you bring and uh, you know sujatha how many did you bring let's put them together so you know start making making them want to learn relate to their real life first do for numbers both numbers within 5 next you have to move on to addition where the sum is greater than 10 or the difference is greater than 5 you have to the points you have to keep in mind are you know when you are doing you know when you are sorry i think i missed a slide after you do after you do real uh, you know uh, real objects you have to move to uh, pictures when you are doing pictures make sure that you write the statement below make it make the stories as real as possible don't you know unless otherwise it is a special day to you know where you had you know you have shown that today will be dinosaur's day or something like that always try to have a real life you will never put you know let for say example uh, you know three uh, you know something i know i have three clocks my mother gave me 15 more clocks all this will really not happen so make it to you know and move to picture situations meaning picture situations mean actually is instead of giving the sum in a whole you start saying in a, a garden there are two put a flower pictures you know like this that is the next step you have to do and after this you do you have unlike things you add three roses and four jasmines you know i have given a wrong answer five flowers actually it should be seven flowers you know so do like that when you are using real objects the thing is why pictures cannot replace real objects is because here in this picture you are seeing a red ball and a white ball an equal to sign and on the other side you see a red and a white a blue ball in real life there will only be these two balls it is not that you will still have it on the left side and again you will have is on the right side you no know, so that is why you have to do real objects first and then move on to pictures the picture if you are able to give pictures like what i have shown here in this picture in my left hand side that is the most apt 
actually we have shown them being transferred you know many of the books don't show this they just show two balls three balls and five balls sometimes the child wonders oh even if i have three balls and two balls here i will have another five balls that side that is addition no even in the second picture you know you can see the boys and girls joining together you know hands together so they have become one and if you look at the subtraction picture also you know i have really shown them as moving away they are standing in a bus terminus they are moving away and here in the other picture the children and the number of cakes <laughs> or ice creams you know picture situation should be like this the third stage is when you start doing addition <laughs> subtraction with fingers can you all see me on the video yes ma'am yes, ma yeah ma'am so suppose yes, you want to say 3 plus 2 on one hand you ask them to show 3 and in another hand show 2 make them put together and ask them to count 1 2 3 4 5 we have it so you start with fingers when both uh, both numbers are below 5 okay you should be doing that okay that is the first stage even when you are doing subtraction with fingers okay you start with 10 and where the answer is you know you can show by folding your fingers don't start with 12 minus 7 things like that so you start showing fingers fingers is a major step from pictures to uh, you know fingers is because no one to one correspondence having three ball pictures on the paper is different from showing three fingers there are no balls for associating every finger with a ball you understand so you need to you know maybe do a warm up exercise show me as many fingers as the number i am showing you know things like that you should be you should be doing
this is the prelude to counting forward which we will be doing in the next stage <clears throat> and for subtraction they have to identify four you know and start moving backwards all this you know already now i'm just putting it in order one after the other once you have done addition subtraction on a number line you have to start introducing keywords both for addition and subtraction you start using keywords you give them word problems with pictures you start giving them word problems where the statements are written they have to write only the numbers because your focus here is you know keywords you should make them understand you know you want them to find out whether it is an addition problem or subtraction problem so i will request you to focus on that you give the statements yourself let them fill in only the numbers and the sign this has to be done only after you do addition subtraction on a number line when children clearly understand that when you add the number gets bigger and when you subtract the number gets smaller after you do this for single digits you move on to strategies the first strategy is you have to introduce them to addition tables you do a one time table they will already know because when you have introduced numbers you would have told them 6 plus 1 is 7 3 plus 1 is 4 how to get the next number so you generally start with addition table of 2 to do it and also see it on the do it on scale i have taken a photograph of a scale can you see the yeah, first scale is pointing at 2 and the second scale the zero is placed at 2 so 2 plus 1 is 3 2 plus 2 is 4 2 plus 3 is 5 you have to read the sum on the bottom scale above the number which you are reading can you see i hope you are able to follow what you i am saying so whichever if you are doing two times table the top scale zero should be at 2 if you are doing three times table the top scale zero should be at 3 so 3 plus 1 will be 4 3 plus 2 will be 5 you know they can see that you when you add one more number in the second number you get the next number in the answer you know this is the strategy which you do with these uh, you know tables with your scales then you start using subtraction with using a foot ruler again when you do the subtraction tables when trying to do the subtraction tables of 7 can you see that 10 and 7 are put together in a line you can observe that 10 and 7 i have placed them in a line now read the answer above 0 so 10 actually i should have started with 10 minus 10 is 0 then move to the top scale that means that the 10 of the bottom scale and 9 of the top scale will be in what in a line read the answer above 0 so 10 minus 9 will be 1 then move the scale 10 minus 8 will be 2 now i have shown you 10 minus 7 so 10 and 7 are in one line and the answer is above 0 on the bottom scale the, the scale above can you see i hope you are able to see so you have to do like this subtraction tables of 10 9 8 7 6 five and below we generally don't do because uh, you know children get it naturally after you do addition and subtraction tables only you have to do the forward counting suppose you want to add five and say now you tell them don't show five fingers start counting on from the first number until you have reached you know as many fingers as the second number Okay, this is the first stage after this you tell them of the two numbers whichever is bigger you start from there and the other number you count on 
okay you could probably remind them about the order property 5 plus 7 is the same as 7 plus 5 the same thing for subtraction with fingers again there are two ways of doing it you start from 5 after 5 6 7 8 9 the number of fingers will give you the difference this is one way the other way of doing it is 9 minus 5 you start with 9 after 9 i know after or you do the backward counting after 9 before 9 is a 7 6 5 number of fingers is 4 okay this is another way of doing it whichever the child is comfortable with what you need to do, you know you need to tell them you need to tell them both the ways 5 to 9 9 to 5 in either case the number of fingers will be your answer after you do this you should probably use a tens frame actually you should start using uh, you know manipulatives a tens frame i say 9 to 7 i have still not taught them complements of 9 and 7 mind it but looking at it the child can see if i place one yellow with the red that will become 110 and i will be left with 6 here so the answer is 16 you know this is a strategy a visual strategy which you give them you know this helps a child you will be teaching them this later on but a visual strategy definitely helps a child you know for you know you have to use a tens frame that is one more strategy you can use <clears throat> after this you move on to two digit addition oh sorry before you move uh, you know when you move to two digit addition subtraction you have to revise addition and subtraction tables okay they should be able to fill up all this the point of me doing it before two digit is not because you know not only as a revision i want them to look for patterns can you see here no can you see the colors okay all the you know the blue ones you know they, they see that when you add with zero you know you get the same number you know 5 plus 6 4 plus 6 are all doubles of the middle number you know there is a pattern when you can see after you do all this you then move on to addition subtraction properties the commutative property associative property identity i am not going to get into all that okay. of two digit numbers that you know the stages 1 and 2 will be when you when you add before you know when you add a 6 and 8 the first stage you have to insist upon them 6 plus 8 is 14 and in this 14 sorry i have written as 12 uh, you know in this 14 that one is a 10 even though it is not a two digit number i will recommend that you use a place value box you do it in a box 6 and 8 are written in the ones box and one should be written in the tens box you know again use of tens frame will definitely help them okay after you do this then you teach addition and subtraction by tens before you do actually 32 plus 54 or things like that you have to first do 3 tens plus 4 tens if you can see my powerpoint i have written 3 tens t n s plus 4 tens equals 7 tens I read it and then you tell them 30 plus 40 you know is equal to 78 plus 5 8 minus 5 is 3 tens 
these are the preliminary stages stage 1 and 2 when you move to higher classes no you give them things like this 40 plus 50 okay they they are not adding 4 plus 5 they are adding 40 plus 50 you can help them with the number line you can do as i told you earlier 40 50 60 70 you know if you can do like that this is a recommended strategy then you start using manipulators where you do step by step when i want to do 27 plus 54 you know i know you know how to use a, a place value blocks you show 27 you show 54 you put them together all that you do i think you know all this when i want to do subtraction 45 minus 27 i want to go through all this quickly because in one hour it will definitely my powerpoint will stop now okay so you do the changing you know where you have to do one changing you have to, for all this you have to use your manipulatives you either buy you know base 10 blocks or you know uh, making tens you know the uh, tens frame or things like that or at least make bundles of tens you have to make them unbundle a ten and make them see that 45 is the same four tens and five ones is the same as three tens and 15 ones it is a very very important step the regular and irregular form so to say okay so here we are adding i have shown you the picture you can see for yourself when i am adding i know you want to ask something please can you wait till the end of the you know presentation please so when you want to add 36 plus 48 this is how you do you group the ones you know group the tens when you have the carry over convert the ones to tens you know you trade the ones for tens that is how you tell them because ten ones make one ten you trade it exchange you change okay that is why we call it as changing the same thing for three digit numbers when you want to add why i have given here plus 15 is because children should not have a plan that's the most important thing here evening, okay you are using evening, manipulative as many times as you can for changing with changing without changing